So this is Jason Lutz with Honeywell Security. And I wanted to take just a couple minutes and show you how simple it is to update the firmware on a Lyric ecosystem. Um, whether you're using the, the Lyric all-in-one or you're using the Lyric Gateway, the process really is the same when you're doing it online. Um, the Lyric all-in-one gives us an, a secondary option as well, which I'll show you as kind of a part B to the video. So it's real simple. What we want to do is really log into AlarmNet 360 and we want to pull up our account. When we pull up our account, the default home screen is account overview. We're going to, we want to make sure the account's active. So we've got a green light, we've got a green light. What we're going to do is really just scroll down and you're going to see panel firmware and firmware revision. What we want to do is really just click upgrade You know, here's the installation version. That's a critical firmware that's being required to be pushed out. Here's the job name. Here's the scheduled time, which is right now. If for some reason we're having to do a really big update, maybe it's not necessarily an update, but it's a panel replacement. We can do an option of export to USB, save it to a thumb drive, stick it into the bottom of the Lyric, reset the Lyric and update the firmware that way. Really simple though. One of the key things to understand with both the Lyric All-in-One and the Gateway, when you push a firmware remotely, it will push the firmware out whenever the scheduled time is. And you can even check that box now. It won't install the update until the system is disarmed. The system's disarmed at the time of the push, it will download it and install it. If it's not uh, if it's currently armed, when Mr. and Mrs. Jones, the homeowner, disarms the system, it will then send the, uh, the install through. Um, the system will go back to the current status, it won't affect anything, and is really invisible to the consumer. It auto-populates our installation time, we're going to do now, and we're going to click on Schedule. The firmware has been added to the jobs. It's that simple. We're done. We can go up here later and we can click on Scheduled Firmware Jobs and see what's in the queue um, from our customer base. You know. Currently in the queue by me is, uh, is pending this panel. I just did it right now. Um, and this is the firmware we're going to push out to it. And uh, it will get scheduled and go through the system here really, really quick. It's that simple. Um, nothing the customer has to do from here on a critical update. If it's a non-critical update, um, it could pop up and ask the customer to acknowledge it. Um, if it's just a random, you know, not a, a random, but a, if it's just a routine firmware update um, on the gateway, the customer never acknowledges it. You push out the uh, the updates, the customer they're automatically installed and seamless to the, uh, the the system. One of the things that I recommend personally is doing a pull update. Um, once you've completed your installation of the all-in-one, you're completely done, you've tested everything, everything's good, you've sent all your signals to the central station, you've done your customer demo. The very last thing you should do is really from the home screen, go to security, go to tools, enter your installer code, 4112, and do an update firmware. And what that's going to do is that's going to go out to the cloud, say, hey, do you got anything for me? And if it does, it's going to download the new firmware and install it, and it's all invisible to both you and the consumer. Thank you very much, and have a great day.